Hi, uh, my name is Claire Clements. I am one of the co-founders of Positively Empowered Kids. Um, we are bringing you at the moment a series of interviews with wellbeing experts and professionals, um, but the most important people um, that we are really excited about interviewing at the moment is actually the children that are out there that are inspiring us at the moment, doing wonderful things um, and just really kind of showing us what, um, what potential they have. And I have got one such boy with me today. I have got the lovely Jay with me. Hi, Jay. Hi. Okay, would you like to just introduce yourself? Just tell me a little basic um, bit of information about you. Hi, I'm Jay. Some people like to call me Jaden, but I am nine years old. You're nine, okay, fantastic. And you're home educated, is that correct? Yes. Yes, okay, lovely. So I thought it would be good if you could start by telling me a little bit about your journey. So how it came for you to be home educated. All right, I started off in school and I was, ever since I first went from nursery to school, I was being bullied by teachers and children. Hmm. So I switched school and that still was happening. So my dad, decided to home educate me because he wanted to teach me some stuff about positivity and I didn't want to get bullied anymore so that's how I became home educated. I think that's a, a fair enough reason and I understand that you had a little bit of input in that decision yourself is that right? Yes. So what did you do to um, to speak to your parents? I for three days I think it was planned an hour-long conversation with my dad who bribed him to make me home educated but I didn't know that they were already thinking about that so I only had to say like 10 minutes or so. <laughs> okay so clearly the right decision for you all as a family so that's really important and how do you find it being home educated? Uh, I do like it because I get to have holidays whenever I want. Yeah <laughs> There were a lot of benefits. We don't have to go to the school's plans, so we don't have to get me out of school or have to wait till a holiday to go on holiday. Yeah, amazing. Okay, yeah. lovely. So, what I wanted to talk to you about in particular today, because we've seen you around a little bit. Um, so, I've seen you've been in the Positive Kids magazine, um, and I've also seen your dad posting amazing things about what you're doing on Facebook and what you've been doing recently. So, can you tell me a little bit about that? I have, what have I been doing on Facebook? <laughs> yeah, I've been, interviewing that you people. Do. I've been interviewing people such as Jermaine Harris, yeah. Carol, and Tommy Gentleman. Okay, and where are you interviewing them? On YouTube. On YouTube, okay, so you've got your own YouTube channel, is that right? Yes. Okay, and tell me a little bit about the, these people that you're interviewing. What sorts of people are they? What what's where do they, they work? Are motivational speakers. Wow. Okay, so you're learning a lot from them and getting to know them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you also did, um, which I thought was really really brave. This was before the lockdown happened, but you did a presentation. Yeah. So tell me what inspired that and what that was about. It was about me getting bullied. So it was about hour, two hours long. Cause, and I didn't want children to feel the same as I did. So when we went there, we gave out little kindness packages wow. from the money that I earned from my business. Okay. And I used that to buy little toys and stuff to put into kindness packages and make bracelets. Yeah, really and taught them some tools to cope with this and then gave them the kindness packages at the end. Wow, that is really good. And did you have um, lots of people there? Uh, four up, wasn't it? 20 people? I think it was that's, 20 people. That's pretty good. Wow, well done. And I didn't know that. You've just thrown in there to me that you've got your own business. So what's that doing? Uh, it's, it has been doing pretty well. Uh, so like bracelets and stuff and necklaces yeah and some because we got the mountains as I live near mountains sometimes we get crystals from up on the mountain and sell those wow and, and sell like other crystals as well 
because I have loads of spare crystals as I like my crystals. So I've got loads of spare ones, so I sell them on my uh, bracelet business. Brilliant! I love crystals as well. Do they do they kind of help you? Do they they make you feel? Uh, yeah, they they kind of, they do help me. I'm not sure if you actually knew this, but I am actually a crystal child. I didn't know that. Same th learning all these new facts already. Wow. And which crystals in particular do you feel kind of most um, in tune with? Usually it's quartz or rose quartz. Yeah. Sometimes it can be lapis as well. Yeah, beautiful. And usually just crystals in general. Mm -hmm. Because when we went to Ponty Pre for the first time, I knew where the crystal shop was and we've never been there before so we had no clue if when there was any I, I had to tell my parents well, can we go in this shop can we go in this shop I said it loads of times so I was like right and then they finally gave in and said yes and then I told them that it was a crystal shop just before we went in wow so you were really drawn to that so you've obviously yeah. got a real connection there and I know that crystals for a lot of children um, and adults you know do provide a really strong sense of um, comfort and reassurance for them yeah. so that's amazing and the fact that your business is going great and you were then able to use that to help with the kindness for other people um, yeah. was incredible yeah because I can I know where crystals are so I use that and then buy the crystals to sell, then use the money. Because we buy a crystal for like one pound and then we sell it for one pound fifty. Excellent business with, brand. with uh, free delivery. So yeah, and I've also went to the fiber challenge and I won the most inspiring individual, I think it was. What think I'm learning so much about you. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. So I use the money from the the crystals that I buy to give out to the community and people who are being bullied. Well done. And I think at the moment and uh, there's lots of people in need. So what advice would you give to other children at the minute that are maybe thinking about starting their own business um, or, you know, doing a talk even or sharing their knowledge? If you want to do it, I recommend just starting off like start it off slow and go on like instagram and facebook and tiktok as well yeah be like and, do, and maybe even youtube do videos and posts on them to get your business flowing yeah so if you guys want to know if you want more people to if you do have a business and you want more people to to look around your business and stuff let me know on Instagram. My dad knows it. What is it, Dad? Oh, I can send it to Claire and she can add it as a link. Yeah. <laughs> My dad will send it to Claire. But you can go on there. I've got 3,500 followers. So I'll put a post on there to tell them to go check out your um. um. Business. Right, I'm getting straight on that. I need I need some business support. So <laughs> I can get you to um to help boost my Instagram. That is amazing. And um and I just wanted to touch on as well quickly. What what did you say? You you've got some um hobbies, haven't you? That you really enjoy doing. Yeah. I quite enjoy gaming. Yeah. As I want to become a gamer, I do spend most of my time on my iPad. As I'm pretty good on, on iPad and Xbox. Okay, lovely. So you've got lots of technical skills there, haven't you, to sort of to take with you, to put into your business, to help yeah. others um, and to, you know, boost your own kind of self-belief and know that anything is possible. When we enter the Fiverr Challenge this year, I'm thinking of making a Fortnite business as it's one. Of, it used to be one of the most popular games in yeah. the world. I think it was at one point. Yeah. It's start of dying now. Because like not a lot of people are playing it, but I'm just gonna start doing a business where people pay me like five pound for me to teach them and play a couple of games with them. 
Cool. Well, you've definitely got a business brain. And I think, you know, coming out of the education system and having gone through what you did with the bullying, um, I think it's great to see how confident you are, how determined you are with your ideas and your business and, and how you're actually using that to help other people. So I think that is absolutely amazing. Um, have you got any last words of wisdom? For, for those people out there looking if you want to make a business don't wait do it because if you don't do it then you might not get the chance to wonderful that is great if advice. Dream before you get too old and can't live it <laughs> Perfect. that is amazing thank you so much um for coming on and you're up in south wales aren't you so and um, have you got do you know any of the links offhand like what the name of your youtube channel is and we'll put all the links i have no clue uh, it's called jnj talks jnj talks is my youtube my dad just told me okay lovely we'll put all the links on the um on the post as well so everyone can find you and um hopefully you'll get a few more followers and subscribers uh, my Instagram is Jaden underscore McCabe. I will be definitely yep. getting 3, on. 3,383 followers, not 3,563, like I thought it was. <laughs> We're I my dad told me that I got 3,563. <laughs> well well done anyway and we're all really proud of you thank you so much for coming on today and sharing your story with us um and we look forward to seeing what you're going to do in the future yeah right take care thank you I will. Right. bye bye